Hi viewers, you're watching my YouTube channel Biohub and I'm your biology facilitator Dr. Seema Sharma. Look at this leaf. It's very simple in appearance but it has two surfaces. One is called adaxial surface and the other is called abaxial surface. In this video, you're going to learn about these two terms and their distinguishing features. Let us take this leafy twig of hibiscus plant, which is also known as China rose. Look at its broad leaves. Each leaf has two surfaces. This one and as I turn it, this one. You would have noticed that these are clearly different from each other. What is the criteria that enables us to categorize the surfaces as adaxial or abaxial? Viewers, the first feature is the way leaf is positioned with respect to the shoot apex or central plant axis. You can see this. You can see this surface of the leaf is facing towards the shoot apex or the central axis of the plant. Thus, it is termed as adaxial surface of the leaf. The surface of the leaf that is facing away from the shoot apex is called abaxial surface of the leaf. Second important identifying feature is overall appearance of the leaf surface. You must have noticed that the adaxial surface of the leaf is glossy, smooth to touch and darker in color. On the other hand, abaxial surface is comparatively rough, dull and lighter in color. The adaxial surface of the leaf is actually the upper side of the leaf. Upper side is also known as ventral surface of the leaf. The abaxial surface corresponds to the lower side of the leaf. And lower side is called as dorsal surface of the leaf. And viewers, such leaves are termed as dorsiventral leaves. Interestingly, these terms are not restricted to leaf. Even floral worlds do have adaxial and abaxial surface. Look at this rosebud. It has typically green colored sepals and vibrant deep maroon colored petals. Identify the central axis of this bud. Look at its sepals. The inner part of these sepals, which is towards the central axis of the flower, is the adaxial surface of these sepals. And outer side, this one, is the abaxial surface of sepal. Similarly, in petals too, the inner side is the adaxial surface. And the outer side is the abaxial surface. Now you know what an adaxial and abaxial surface means. So that's it about the basic differences and comparison between these two type of leaf surfaces. This video also enabled you to explore about the dorsiventral nature of leaf. What viewers? All plants do not have dorsiventral leaves. There are certain leaves where there is hardly any difference between upper and lower surface of the leaf. Let me show you one. This is grass plant. You must be observing that both the surfaces of these leaves are looking more or less similar and they can't be labeled as dorsal or ventral surface. Such kind of leaves are called isobilateral leaves. If you want to know about this kind of leaf and the 
basic differences between these two types of leaves then stay tuned for the next video which is about the differences between dorsiventral and isobilateral leaves thanks for watching stay tuned to biohub bye bye